The Western Roman Empire fell in 476, but was briefly reconquered by Emperor Justinian in 535 before collapsing again. Now, new research led by Dr. Tom Gernon at the University of Southampton supports growing evidence that this turbulence and the decline of empires worldwide was closely tied to climate change. In 536 AD, the world was rocked by the first of three volcanic eruptions that caused the late antique Little Ice Age. It doesn't sound like much, but it proved to be devastating. To date, there's been some debate as to how long the late antique Little Ice Age lasted. Dr. Gernon and his team's research provides geological evidence that this period lasted much longer than just 10 years. It began when they found unusual rocks along Iceland's coast. When they crushed these rocks, they found zircon crystals that they identified as being from Greenland. This means that during the late antique Little Ice Age, glaciers expanded enough to launch icebergs from across the Atlantic. Using radiometric dating, they were able to prove that this pattern lasted not just 10 years, but for over 100 years. Why does this matter? Because it confirms the cooling wasn't local or short-lived. It spanned lifetimes, kickstarting a chain reaction. Colder weather leads to failed harvests, failed harvests to famine, famine to mass migration, and mass migration to war and disease. And all this, not just in ancient Rome. Dr. Gernon and his team's work is important because it helps us better understand a pivotal era in human history through earth sciences. At World Technology, we celebrate the people behind innovation. Congratulations to Dr. Gernon and the team for using crystals to tell a clearer story of our history.